Hey, how's it going? It's Miguel from Singing Tree Flutes, chiming in to say hi. I want to show you this crazy cool flute here. This is what we're calling the Mayan Harmony Drone Flute. That's the most common name that people have been using. I've also called it the Split Drone or the Harmony Drone. And basically, um, this flute here is three notes or a half of a minor scale, pentatonic minor, half of a pentatonic minor scale on one side, and then either a fifth apart, in most cases, like this one, fifth apart, um, a, a three notes of a higher pentatonic minor scale. Yes, I said that right. Okay, and so in this case, this is a G, and I think it's playing with a C? I might be right, I could be wrong. No, it's actually playing with a D. So this is a G, playing with a D pentatonic minor, but only three notes on each side. It's a very simple, simple flute, the way that it's played, but it really is a really cool meditative flute. And you might be looking at this like, what a weird, what's all those holes? What What's this weird looking contraption, okay? Well, let's look closer. Let's see if we can tell. Can you tell? That hole goes all the way through. Can I see you through there? I can see you through there. I don't know if you can see me through there. Can you see me through there? Anyway, <laughs> that's a hole that goes all the way through the flute. Why is that there? Because this is a reclaimed piece of wood, okay? This was an old, old Western cedar two by four. And so most of the time when you see Western cedar, you're gonna see that it's this light brown. It could go into dark brown colors and even some blonde colors. That's the typical Western cedar. This one was an old, old weathered, weathered piece, and it has this really unique kind of gray color to it. And it actually was a piece of lumber that was used previously to build something. I don't know what it was. Mike came across this piece of wood. This hole, I think, was where it was actually bolted to something else to create whatever it was. Could have been a piece of fencing or something, but I think there was an actual bolt going all the way through. It was here, and then there was another hole that isn't here anymore because I made it a split drone, but there was another hole down here that went all the way through, and um, it was potentially gonna be a playing hole, but the way that this flute ended up sounding the best was to make it this Meyer Harmony drone flute. And there's a couple of other spots there's not too many left, actually. Because I made it the Harmony Drone, I actually cut off. There was some nail holes in here and things that I'd filled with turquoise. But after tuning it, I realized, gosh, this is sounding better um, just as this Harmony Drone. So I cut that side off. Little tiny nail hole right there that was filled with turquoise. So really, most of the flaws have been cut out of this. But this hole right here, I just decided to leave it. And that hole could be really cool for some decoration. My thought was, if I had them, I used to carry them a lot when I was young, um, turquoise or gemstone discs, right? You could take a gemstone disc and you put it over this hole and you run leather through it and you'd have to have some other kind of bead or I used to use crystals and um, strap the leather around it, lace it through the disc and that would sit right here. And then the lacing would come through the bottom and you'd have like this little, leather design you could use that in many ways to like you know tie a piece of leather around it for added decoration or whatever i just thought it was cool so i just left it and it and it was um right perfectly between the two chambers so that's what that is that is not a playing hole and so what i want to do also is i want to demonstrate with this uh, flute here how that you can play a lefty harmony drone just as easily as a righty harmony drone. It doesn't really matter with harmony drones which hand goes where because the way that each hand is played is exactly the same. So there is really no difference for people who are used to playing with the right hand on top. There's really no difference um, with the harmony drone which hand goes where because your fingers are doing the same thing. So this is a lefty G. It is available. Reach out if you're interested in it. And um, this is me playing it with my left hand on bottom. Normally, I would have my right hand on bottom. 
And because they do the same thing, it really makes no difference. Also want to demonstrate to you that it's if you're more comfortable with your right hand on the bottom and so this is ideal I guess what I'm saying no matter which hand is on bottom this will work for you if you want your right hand on the bottom because it just feels awkward you can just reach over the sides and that's totally comfortable to play this way too so now I have my right hand reaching over the barrel to play at the bottom and my left hand reaching over the barrel Pretty sweet, huh? I just wanted to demonstrate that. I could make three different videos out of this one here, but this is to demonstrate how, whether you're right hand on bottom or left hand on bottom, this flute can work for you, okay? Wanted to throw that out there. And really cool looking flute, really awesome, really rare. I mean, look at that grain pattern, walnut end caps, and the gray of the walnut really matches the gray of this really cool grain here. As you can hear, really sweet, clear tone, simple to play, and now I'm gonna play it with effects for you. Hope you like it. Yep, this one is available now. So check the website or check the description below and reach out to us if you're interested in this awesome flute. Okay, see ya.